take it all back. Because so when G Controller dropped their Dragon Fruit Tub, it's very by Spyro. Wasn't very impressed by it. Something about it. I, I don't know. It was very not good from what I remember. Is it because I've had Dragon Fruit drinks before and just wasn't a fan, barring like Fanta's Dragon Fruit, which actually was actually really good? Or maybe it was just me. Do you really wanna do you really wanna taste it? <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to the episode of Fast Talk, the Fast Review Show, where I talk about fast food, talking faster about it. Let's go ahead and take a look at Spyro's Dragon Fruit G Fuel Can. Because whenever it's a can, sometimes it's way better. Or like it adds another element to it. Just combination helps somehow. I don't, I don't know why. But yeah, when I saw this, I was like, gosh dang, I bought another tub and there's gonna be a can, da 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 blah. Found it at a local gas station, so I was like, you know what, I might as well just retry it. Maybe I'll actually like it or not. I don't, I don't know. Small test for it still has that, like, sweetness to it that I remember. It does have a little something else, too. I don't know. I still get that flavor that I didn't like. Add it with a carbonation. I don't know. It, maybe it's just one of those flavors. There are some Jufu flavors that have a very tub taste to them, just like a powdery tub taste to them. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not awful. Like, I've had worse dragon fruit drinks. Really enough, they also put a space on it. It's dragon space fruit. I, I guess it's a pun. I don't know, but I don't know. I'm still very indifferent to this flavor. Do I like it? Do I hate it? Uh, I, I think I'm really on the fence of it. It's like, it's okay. Would I try it again? Yes. But was it something I'd recommend? No. Like, that's up to you. Some people might really like this flavor. Some people might not, you know. Gotta say, the can design's nice. It carries over very much with the tub head going on and tidies it up a little bit better. Like, I don't know. Like, it feels like there's a few little tubs that have so much going on because they have to have so much product stuff on it. You kind of really miss what the can actually has on it. I think the can really tidies it up, just tying it around the G Fuel logo with Spyro there and the little bug thing or whatever the heck he is. Just works very well. Overall, I really do like the can design. There is a ingredients list there. You can also read, kind of, maybe. I should have showed it off before I opened the can. Uh, but do you guys like the photography in the videos? That's something I've been trying. I don't know if some people are liking it or not. I put the uh, the can reviews at the end because people don't like that stuff. But do you like the photography videos? Does it help spice it or make it a little neater and like a little more cohesive as a video? Do you like that? Please let me know down in the comments. Also, you leave a like and you can subscribe to the channel. You can also go check out Polo Campbell. He did a review of it. Really like his review style. It has that very much like simplistic style to it. Something about it I just really like. So go check him out. Link down below with all my socials. Again, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. Maybe Clapper, uh, all of that down below, uh, along with uh, uh, my affiliate for WNRG. Get 10% first order to check out. It's code Fast Talk. That's Fast Tack. Check it at WNRG. Excuse me. Dot com. Guys, have a great rest of your day. Stay bearded. Stay vegan. Gotta go hit that ride to the setting sun.